Hi, I'm Peter. Um, I'm the technical manager here. Um, I deal with all new designs and product development. This process is a rotational moulding process. So we mould a lot of subterranean tanks in various sizes. This size of product we use what's called the rock and roll machine. With rotational moulding, you're effectively making a, a hollow product in one piece rather than in several pieces. Basically what we have here is we've got a cavity tool that we, uh, we've put a, a, an allotted amount of material in and put that material in the tool is placed into the oven. The tool itself then rolls on one axis and is rocked on the other axis to move the powder through the tool. While this is happening the tool has been heated all the time. Reach the, the desired temperature inside, the product's then put into a cooling stage. At this stage, the oven levels off and opens up. Once it's opened up, the product will cool inside the tool for a period of time. Once this is finished, we pull the tool out from the machine, open the tool up, and we extract the product. The product then left in ambient temperature to cool. Positives of the auto intentionally moulded product are that um, when we moulded it, it's one homogenous piece. Um, it's not moulded with a great deal of stress where injection moulding and blow moulding, the material is forced into the tool um, at pressure, which, which adds stress to the product, whereas with us, we start with a powder, that powder lays where it wants to lay in the tool. Uh, there's no stress involved in this, so the, the product in the beginning is moulded without stress. Um, and also then, with the materials that we use, generally are, are polyethylene, uh, they're very good at low impact, at low in temperature impact. So, um, they're very good for uh, English weather, effectively. Processes. It's simple, basic, but it works very well.